right, what's up guys? Welcome back to All Things Duncan. Back with another video. Um, if you haven't already, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Those of you who are returners, welcome back. Um, but anyways, today I have my best friend here. She is the owner, the founder of Pocket Full of Stones. So I know you see a lot of different things going on here today on set, but we're gonna be doing a reveal of my purchase from your girl. And she's gonna be showing us some different products that she has available on sale right now. Just follow her on all social media platforms. You can DM her, do whatever you need to do, shoot your side, and get you some jewelry, okay? So, Courtney. What's going on? All right, let's get to it. She's gonna help me explain um, what we have going on here in this package, and I'm gonna be modeling it for you guys as well. So, first things first, over here in this case, um, we have some sage. Yes, sage is used to purify your space, whether it be a bedroom, your home, uh, your workspace, your creative space, whatever you may have. Um, it's actually good in removing toxins from the air that we're breathing. I know everyone's real freaked out with this whole coronavirus mm -hmm. <laughs> going on, so now is a great time. To uh, to partake, okay. yes, to get Is your it smudge a word? on. Oh, smudge! That's yeah, the word. to get okay. your smudge, smudge. on. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been practiced for many years. Yes, uh, yes. it's not anything new. Mm -hmm. um, I do encourage more research on anything mentioned out here. Uh, do more reading for yourself. But let's get into what else we have. Okay, so the next thing we have is this ring here. Let me yeah. put it on for you guys. Okay. This is opal? Yes. So this ring here is a opal cabochon. A uh, cabochon is usually used in reference to stones being cut into certain sizes, uh, varying different shapes and sizes. Uh, but this ring in particular is special because it is adjustable. Um, the inside of the ring will open and spread for you yes. as opposed to some of the different rings that I do have to offer which are the fixed. Details. We're definitely going to add a video so you can see the details because it's so much detail. Like I almost can't believe she made this with her bare hands. Okay, with her hands. Super detailed. Cute little stone in the middle. And it just gives it so much personality. And I know nobody else has this rings. It's my ring, so... Okay, moving on. Next thing we have a little pair of earrings. A little razzle tassel. Gonna put them on. What is this stone? So this purple stone is a very popular, very common stone uh, amongst crystal lovers. Mm -hmm. uh, it is amethyst. It is also associated with the month of February. Uh, so a lot of you February babies, whether you're an Aquarius or Pisces, mm -hmm. uh, this is for you. Yes. Uh, Get but you some. the amethyst, reputed to control evil thoughts, increase intelligence, and render men shrewd in business matters. Mm -hmm. For travelers, it was worn as a protection from treachery and surprise attacks. Mm -hmm. So. You know, this coronavirus seems to be a surprise attack. Yeah, so this is going to be my safe haven <laughs> right here, these yeah. earrings, okay? Are they on these two? Yeah, those are Look actually the same stones, different style of drops. earrings. Little yeah. drops, okay. Have All right, some. now this one is my favorite out of my little bundle. This one, what is this? It moonstone? is peach moonstone. Okay. Uh, the peach is referring to its color. It's a little orange, a little brown, uh, very earthy. But I if you look details. close, uh, the stone does tend to show uh, like glittery specks. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's very attractive when people first initially look at it. Uh, this is said to bring soothing relief to emotional issues such as depression or anger. Uh, supports the heart as it stimulates the mind, soothing uh, worry or or anxiety, mm -hmm. uh, and bringing out the best in people. So it's an all-around 
Good stone to have, everyday use, everyday wear. Uh, something that I thought was pretty cool and very versatile with me putting the leather cord for the pendants was yeah, that. Yeah, help me with this leather cord. You see, I'm struggling over here. You can adjust the sizing on it. You can mm -hmm. make it either short or long, mm -hmm. depending on how you pull on it. Yeah. But yeah. And then the good thing about it is, even though they're different colors, shapes, and sizes, you can wear them all together. And it's like almost like an everyday piece, and she has different pieces that are everyday. So now we're gonna sh Courtney, mm -hmm. Courtney G, um, <laughs> pocket full of stones is gonna show you some different pieces that she has available. So over here we have an amethyst cluster. Um, this one here has a lot more texture as opposed to some of the cabochons or the stones that are cut. They're polished and smooth. Uh, they have a more finished look. This can also be unisex uh, as it can be worn by a male or a female. Mm -hmm. uh, when we're dealing with crystals, we're really not concerned with the color, more so than we are looking for its healing abilities. Mm -hmm. So let's just try not to get caught up on those. And you never know, purple can be a very flattering color on a guy. Mm -hmm. So go for it. <laughs> right. So yeah, this is available on my Instagram as is all of the items that you see here, but we'll keep going through a few of these. Mm -hmm. um, here we have uh, Hit It, Heat It, Hit It. <laughs> heat It Citrine. Um, it's heated I and it one. causes the crystal to turn a certain color. Mm -hmm. uh, they do vary anywhere from dark ambers to yellows. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they even get a little clear in color, translucent. Uh, but this here is the different ring design that I was referring to earlier. Uh, aside from the adjustable, this here is closed and will only fit a certain size finger. Mm -hmm. But not to worry. Yes. <laughs> uh, I do have other stones that are unwrapped, mm -hmm. like the ones here on my left, here, like this uh, clear quartz. I don't know if y'all can see that. I like that one. The clear quartz. I think that one's definitely unisex. The amethyst that we were talking about looks a little different from the cluster, but depending on what we're going for, we'll make it work. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have polished stones. These are referred to as tumbled or polished uh, because of how smooth they are, as opposed to something like this, which would be considered raw. Something that's considered raw, this right here on my left is actually aquamarine. This is aventine. Uh, they both have similar characteristics as far as what they are used for in your personal life. Uh, these stones can be purchased to add to your personal collection, uh, whether it be for yourself or someone else. You want to give some of them, or if you're interested, we can take some of the loose stones and turn them into Masterpiece. different pieces, mm -hmm. uh, like this arm cuff here, which is featuring a rose quartz, a uh, rose quartz crystal, a raw stone. So, you really like can go those. from this to this. You can take your your healing pieces with you in a fashionable way. Yes, yes. So, I definitely love how you put all that together. <laughs> yeah. Everything is really nice, you guys. Wanna, she'll show me some of these on FaceTime, and they look different sizes. But, like, looking at them now, I don't feel like any of them are too big where they look like in the way or it's just mm -hmm. too much like everything kind of flows even this one depending on what you have on it just goes with an everyday look you can always have a piece for something to yeah do it. so anyways today we're going to be doing a wrapping class Courtney's going to be showing me how to wrap a jewelry hopefully it looks good I'm not the most artsy person I've never been a big arts and craft but I'm going to go with the flow hopefully yeah, I'll get my you know, good zen from my stones I already have on, and we'll come up with another masterpiece that she can add to the collection. So stay tuned, and uh, we're gonna clean this up here and get to the next part of this video.
Total class mode, Courtney is ready to show me how to make these pendants. Um, we have our tools here, a little setup. We'll kind of explain as we go by. Um, we picked out two different stones to work with. I picked out Soda Light. Yeah, Soda Light. Like Soda Light. Soda Light. <laughs> really pretty blue. And then Courtney has Aqua. Marine. Aqua Marie. Marie? Marine. Marine, like aquamarine, like in the marine. Okay. Yes. Aquamarine. <laughs> cool. All right. So let's get to it. All righty. So first what we're going to do is Erin is going to stretch this copper wire out. Um, it is a little longer than about a foot. I'd say about uh, like 16 inches. <laughs> Ooh, wait a minute. Sorry. Take my out. <laughs> okay. Possibly. Uh, yeah, possibly about 16 inches or so. Give or take. Okay. Okay. So we're going to line this one up so I'm that sorry. I can get the same amount. Yeah. Uh -oh. Okay, here we go. Hold it. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. All right so we even. Yeah. Give me this snip. This is something. Snip it. Snip it. Okay. All right. Now that we got that, um, the tool that I normally would use to create a bell circular shape. Uh, the bell is what we're going to thread our leather cord through. Um, whatever necklace chain you may have, you can use that at that time. Uh, so with this, you want to be mindful of what you would like to replace. Mm -hmm. uh, so you don't want it to be too small where you can't fit, you know, maybe a beaded necklace through it or... A larger chain or something of that sort so mm. we're gonna keep it nice and round a nice size not too partial to either side okay uh, so what we're gonna do is use the handles or the grip handles on a pair of pliers that is a tongue twister pair of pliers <laughs> pair of pliers use this part <laughs> on the yeah pair of we're your gonna pliers. use the the part that usually sits on the inside of your hands uh oh careful okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna turn them upside down so that we can use this part kids <laughs> have your mom and dad help you with this okay do not do this by yourself we're gonna use this part i approve this message okay <laughs> use this part here to uh, help us create our bill so what that looks like is our wire is uh, folded in half pretty much uh, what we're going to do is go around this a few times. So okay, we're going around the handle twice, a couple times. Yeah. A few, that's three. Okay. All right, I got a loop. Yep. And you want to just make sure that your wires, Nothing when you're more. going around, that they're on top of each other, or side by side, rather, than on top. Don't cross them yet. So yeah, keep it nice and tight. Okay. When you get to this point, we have three loops. Yep. You can use your finger to help you find the middle, kind of press down on that. This is what's going to help before you start turning. Okay. So, yeah. So. All right. I got three loops and we're about to cross it here so we can twist it, right? Yep. So basically, you're just gonna give it a little twist, like a twist tie. Two times should be fine. You just want it to be nice and tight. And then you're gonna open your wires back up. So once you do that, we can actually remove our wire from the pliers. Uh -huh. Once you get to that point, you should have your two pieces of wire, your bell up top with the twist in the middle. Bell up top. Okay. I'm a good student so far. So far, so good. All right. No one's poked their eyes out. We're doing great. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, from this point, this okay. From this point, we're going to stone time. Grab our stones. Uh, what we're going to do is try to find the point of the stone that has the greatest surface area. Uh, 
this is gonna be so if you look at this stone it's kind of hard but if you really try and use your artistic eye you can see this is triangular in shape so the greatest surface area is going to be towards the bottom here at the base so from there we're going to use this point up here and line it up with our bell right so in doing this you can use your finger to hold the wire against the stone and kind of help you guide your other wire around the other side of the stone like such. Exactly. Yes. Once we get to this point towards the bottom of the stone, we're going to repeat the same twisty motion uh, as we did up top. From this point right here, we're going to twist it to the point where now our wires are now facing in a direction that the wires are currently not already facing. So from this point, once we wrap our wire around our stone what we're going to do is take the extra wire here and wrap it around the base of our bell here so it'll look something like this so it'll look something like this and so we'll just continue to wrap and continue to shorten this wire here by wrapping with the wraps okay the more the better and so basically what I'm doing here once I get to an end point here is the end of this wire here mm -hmm. I'm going to tuck it into itself so that it's not sticking out and it doesn't snag on your clothing or it doesn't scratch you or anything like that okay look at my uh let me see give me a tool <laughs> okay let's see Basically, you just do that by holding a piece of the wire and turning it. So the last thing we got to do is tighten the remaining wires that are already surrounding our stones. By doing so, we're going to create lightning bolts mm -hmm. in the wires that are around our stone pretty much. Mm -hmm. And what this does is it draws the wire closer to the stone so that you for sure will not lose it. Okay. Uh, so to do so, we're going to take our wires and we're going to place it. Differences on the pieces, I think, how much or how less you do. Yeah. The extra little And detail. you know, just keep in mind there's no right or wrong way. The only wrong way you can do this is if you don't enjoy yourself. So, yeah, this is really fun. And y'all, I'm really not 
the most artsy person, like I said, but this is actually pretty cool. It's actually pretty proud. Yeah. So that's the whole concept is to be able to create something that you're proud of. See, mine is nothing like hers, you know. Let's compare. But hey, they're both beautiful. The stones are beautiful. Mm -hmm. So we have our picks, right? This yep. is it. Okay. And this is it's legit copper. So you really just need some type of pliers. Those right here. These look like the ones, they're at the beauty spa store, I know for sure. Cause I have some, they look like the same ones you use like for pedicures and stuff. So you can, Michael's, any craft store, beauty spa store. Hardware store. And then this copper too, legit copper. So, I mean, we just have three different ones cause you can kind of be used for different things, but you just need one pair to, to do it. So this is just two things in your stone. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so basically what we're going to do is complete the look uh, by inserting a leather lanyard. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to show you a knot technique that is very common on like friendship bracelets and stuff like that. Uh, I like this because you don't have to tie and untie it. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also change up the, the length on it. Mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to sticking to either a short chain or a longer chain, it'll kind of give you the variety that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. So to do so, the main thing to consider is how big your head is. <laughs> Importante. Yes, it is. <laughs> Very. Stuck. So no. you'd rather do it longer than short. Yeah, you can always draw it up if you need to, but... You know, it's like seasoning your food. Mm -hmm. Start with a little bit, you can always add a little more. Right. Too much too soon? Mm -hmm. Can't help you. Right. So, what we're going to do is, here I have some uh, natural leather cord. It's uh, like a caramel color. Mm -hmm. But over time, uh, it will darken. Uh, just as it ages or you wear it, the natural oils on your bodies will cause the leather to change colors. Okay. Not necessarily a bad thing. It is. Mm -hmm. It will just naturally occur. Uh, the same thing with the copper, uh, because I do get questions sometimes about the coloring, um, as far as like it being for males or females. I think a lot of guys are turned off by copper color because it can resemble rose gold. Mm -hmm. um, but over time, as copper oxidizes, mm -hmm. this is all science, <laughs> uh, as copper oxidizes, it will darken in color. So you'll have some pieces that will start off rose gold, which is very trendy mm -hmm. amongst women. And over time, it'll start aging and start turning and you end up with a more antique-ish brass, darker color, mm -hmm. which people love as well so it's all about enjoying it it'll last forever so yeah let's get to this yeah so basically what we're gonna do is cut the thread or cut this cord okay i like to use uh, my pliers that i cut uh the wire with because it cuts through this thick leather no problem so, okay. Alrighty. So, we got the have, cord cut. Yeah, got uh -oh. the leather cord cut. So, we're going to just thread it through our bell. Look like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Alright. Alright. So, what you want to do is take one end across and take the other end in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. So it should become like this. So basically, essentially what you're going to do is create a knot on each end that will allow uh, movement mm -hmm. so that you can either shorten or lengthen the leather cord. what it is is a knot on the other cord right mm -hmm. 
and so we're just gonna pull this for this part I do uh, like to use my pliers mm -hmm. to ensure that I have a tight hole and that my knot is not coming loose mm -hmm. while I'm wearing it yeah. because not up in here right <laughs> I need my stones okay okay so for that what we're gonna do is basically you're gonna hold this hold the opposite end of the knot and you're gonna hold the loose end of the knot in your pliers and just give it a tight pull simple as that so now Oh, I'm done. Yeah. Okay. What y'all think? The bag. Ready? This is the looks like this. I kind of like it this way. Wish you two lightning bolts. Okay, y'all. Very proud of the finished product. We are done here with today's class. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much, Courtney. Uh, like I said, me. founder of Pocket Full of Stones. Handmade jewelry um, stones that have multiple meanings, not just for fashion, but help you in your mind, body, and soul, okay? Make sure to follow us on all social media platforms. Subscribe to this channel. Like this video and follow us. Yes. See you next time. Yeah. Thanks again so much for tuning in. I appreciate all your support. Be sure to try a crystal wrapping of your own. Hit my girl up. Stay tuned for the end of this video to catch a really funny blooper see you next time bye all right we are done oh, oh. <laughs> we done <What> <laughs> i don't know the cord split all weird uh, this usually doesn't happen <laughs> <laughs> okay anyway let me see it. that's okay it's going to hurt me <laughs> What do we do now? <laughs> <laughs>